I, for one, really grateful that we had an opportunity to help. Um, very unique opportunity that we have the equipment to help and the manpower to help. How'd yeah. you like your trip to California? Great challenge, amigo. Great challenge? Yeah. I'm glad that we were able to uh, help people. Well, Utah people and California people are the same but different. When you get there, it's like everybody's exactly the same, you know? Yeah. We, we work like 16 hours straight a day, you know? It feels really, really, really good. We're fine to have so many people saying thank you to us and everyone wanted to hand us out like water, coffee, everyone was so nice with us. And they don't get snow so they really weren't prepared at all for it. And you can't fault them for it because they never see it. It's like once in a 150 year storm, you know? I really liked it, I'm not going to lie. I just couldn't believe how much help was needed. It's a lot of work, so, but it's a good time to help the, the people. I thought it was super special um, that we got to like go down there and help out tons of people. I thought it was a very heartfelt experience. Seeing people get out of their homes when they've been stuck there for a long time, it was actually very gratifying, so I loved it. We're here for the meeting. Task force leaders. I would put one guy on a uh, playground and one on. This is going to be the most entertainment we've had all week. Get the big bull buddy! Should be good now. Alright guys, day two. We're commuting to work in the Sisu Natsu. I'm pretty pumped. You excited for your bus driver? <laughs> yeah. Alright. And my bus driver looks a bit creepy. Hasn't washed his hair in some time. <laughs> Goes up to 120 kilometers an hour. That's 60 miles per hour. Right? 75. Alright, well. Let's see if we can get her there. All right. Challenge number one. <laughs> Top speed, Sisu Natsu. All right, so as you guys can see, it's pure chaos down here. Um, and it's awesome being here with the opportunity to, you know, help these people clear so much snow, meet so many great people. Like, honestly, it's this is a really like life-changing experience for all of us. Now, keep in mind, uh, in the last video, I mentioned that a lot of people have reached out wanting to donate, wanting to find a way to help the mission. And since we're not taking cash donations, I wanted to let you guys know of a actually kind of a more beneficial way for you to donate. And that is by supporting our business, by supporting our vehicle giveaways. Right now we're giving away a Bronco and the giveaway for that Bronco ends in two or three days. The way we've designed this uh, giveaway is, you know, every $5 you spend gets you an entry to win the Bronco, which is super cool. But right now, for those of you who want to support what we're doing down here in California, want a chance to win a Bronco and want a chance to get some really awesome product. If you're not sure what to buy, we've created uh, bundles using all of our top best-selling products on the website. And these aren't just for fitness people. This is for really anybody. It's got multivitamins, you got t-shirts, you got shaker bottles, you've got deer antler spray, which is this crazy recovery uh, supplement that was actually banned by the NFL because I guess I worked too well or something. If you guys are interested, you want to, uh, get entered to the giveaway, support what we're doing, and get this ridiculous, you know, high amount of entries to win the giveaway, just click the link in my description below and uh, it'll take you right to the website and grab yourself a bundle. Thank you.
for the task force leaders. I would put one guy on uh, playground and one on uh, his crest line and just do do a fast recon to prioritize. We're gonna split the skid steers 50-50. This, basically this whole area is gonna be task force Bristol's area. Playground to here and the elementary schools here. So just right out the gate, this kind of this area. Playground's at the top. So my overall plan with with the crews that I get, we'll figure that out in a second, is to have a couple start on playground and have a couple to start in this community. And then we try to squeeze it down, right? What are you seeing the majority of in here? Is it act like road blockages or there's just a few driveways that need like scooped out in the front or what are we looking at? Yeah, mostly driveways. I think the roads, yeah. the, the loaders and the Caltrans and the county are gonna take care of. The plows will come through and put up a berm so they can't yeah, get their cars right. out. So that's kind of the main thing, just getting people access to the main road, right? driveways and cars. Bristol's got this. Yep. And Adam, what do you have? I'm heading over here to the west um, and to the north. So we'll be doing the same mission as they're doing down yeah. here. Uh, try to get in as deep as possible. If you guys are scouting in some of the smaller stuff, if you could find good spots to, to move the snow instead of just pushing the snow, and if we could get dump, dump trucks or whatever to help facilitate that, we'll huh. do that. Last night when we were just dinking around, clearing out stuff here, um, I mean, we just saw like on the way down here, there might've been like five more homes or something and then one road that needed to be cleared. Up here, have you guys seen anything up there? Like we're talking about a hundred driveways that need to be cleared out or we're talking about six. It's all sporadic. Or, Some of the residents will have us get here or something and, and, and the, it's hit and miss. Do we have any like little spray paint cans or something? Cause if we're driving by, like we go on this, we can like just mark a driveway, like hit this next. You're gonna find residents who have needs. Right. Start flagging you down, like, yeah. you know, um, I have an elderly family member, whatever, so let's stop and help those people as we come across that. Yep. But at the same time, stay on the mission of, hey, let's let's clear roads, let's widen and improve everything we can. Yep. Let's uh, clear driveways as much as we can. My name is Gordon Levine. I'm on the I'm on the uh, the IEP as the uh, field observer. So if they run into a, a welfare check, how about they give me a call? Because that's what I was doing yesterday also. Text or email or call me on the radio. Give me the address and I'll drive because I'm going to be driving the whole area again. Push the same button. <laughs>
I'm not as skinny as Alan. Hey, we got bolt cutters accessible as well. Oh, you do? Yeah, that's what you do. Can you grab them? Yeah, please. Okay. Sorry about whoever's cable isn't working. <laughs> <laughs> that's what they made DVDs for. Yeah. Hey, did you get your car in your driveway, Mike? No, not yet. I'm right behind you. I haven't tried, no. Haven't tried yet? No. Did you go get your girlfriend's car? Um, no, she's, that's where she's at now. Is she okay? I think we got lucky with that one charge. And yeah, it's been, it's been awesome. And I understand that this is not an easy thing that we inserted ourselves into and offered to do. I appreciate the fact that you guys were, had we told you, had we had heads up, I think it's something that can, you know, everybody can work around. But sure. Where we show up the day of and say, hey, we're ready to help and you guys made it happen. That's. And I don't think we knew how quickly you could mobilize, yeah. which is truly impressive. Yeah. So. Well, how many pieces of equipment you guys can bring down? Yeah. yeah, and we still have stuff at the bottom of the mountain. We just, we kind of had stuff hold off while we were figuring out where to go, what to do. So, no, it's been great. We've had a lot of volunteers and just a lot of great people show up. We've got our core team that uh, that we do all this stuff with all the time and, and they've been, got plugged right in and they're off on three or four different tasks for us right now. We're not here yeah. for clickbait. We're not here for the drama. I mean, the real story is way cooler than the, you know, yeah. any of the crazy drama out there anyway, so it's cool. All right, so next time you call me and you need anything, I will try to be in Salt Lake City in less than five <laughs> yeah, hours. You're down to a high standard now with 40 people. <laughs> no, no. <laughs> you show up with 40 people and That's 20 impressive. machines. That's yeah. yeah. It was a, it was a perfect storm. We were we ready for it. We can't thank you enough, yeah. so. Well, thank you for making it happen for us. Yeah, if you need anything while you're on the mountain or yeah. elsewhere, just let us know. Awesome, yeah. thank All you right. so much. Absolutely. Some, it's some wet sloppy snow, it's so heavy. And I paused for a second trying to get some traffic around me and I plugged up the hopper. So, just gotta shovel all this slush out of the chute and then we'll be back in business. The temperatures are dropping so this slush is turning into ice. Chipping at an ice block. Almost. Well, like third or fourth time doing yeah, this? Yeah, back there this. All right, I think I found out the trick. When it clogs up, we have to shovel it out, free spin it. It gathers whatever other snow is in the system and packs it up, and we gotta clear that. And then the whole system's clean. We can rev it to the moon, slam it down, so now it'll start chucking it. So, let's get it. Let's gotta do that. Let's try that. Come on!
we're at the last house, and the last house keeps turning into the next last house, the next last house, the next last house. Black sheep skid was with us the first day, and then I never saw him again. And I just like I see videos of him here, but I don't see him himself. Last like few minutes of being here, and all of a sudden he's just comes barreling down the mountain in his dually with his skid here on, and now he's just gonna unload it like a psychopath. This is gonna be the most entertainment we've had all week. <laughs> Get the big running. Of course he's here. This only makes sense. He just hucks it. Yeah, he throws it. Pure joy, pure entertainment. Listen, you know how like you end the show with a bang? This is the bang for us, man. Just to watch this guy operate as we wait for like the last few buckets to be unloaded up there. You clear the path, it's kind of like a answer prayers, man. If you don't follow this guy, follow him. Here's his link. Go follow him, he's, he's pure joy, pure joy. sums it up for our California adventure. We came down here, we cleared a whole bunch of streets, a whole bunch of snow, old Bud saved the day I multiple did. times. Many. Listen, everybody put their hearts into it, everybody worked their butts off. Proud of these guys that came down here and made a difference. A lot of these people would have been stuck in their houses for another 10 days, but uh, all they these guys it. worked hard, yeah. They did they do did it. it. Up top, Bud. That's what I'm talking about. We need to do better than that. Yeah. 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 And now we're all loaded up. Time to hit the road home. Hunter's got the Snowcat and the Minotaur on here. We've got all the other trailers loaded up. We're going to clean one more house in the morning just because we want to. And uh, as soon as we do that, we're on our way home to see our wives and kids. Yeah, Hunter! Seriously, 
it was cool to be able to come down here and help these people. It's cool that they accepted us up into their community to bring all of our big equipment and clear some snow. It was awesome to work with, with the uh, city officials and the fire department and all the other people that were up here working. And it was cool to see my guys get out of the shop and, and do some good, man. They were pumped. Everybody was pumped. It's a good feeling. You get to help some people. So hopefully we've made a good difference and now it's time to go home.